welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is the 2023 Crossroads Cruiser 32BH fifth wheel. This is a family-oriented fifth wheel. It has three slide rooms, and ours is 50 amp service and optioned with two air conditioners, not to mention it's bath and a half. And we'll get to all of that in just a second. But I want to start right here by our main entry in our kind of combined living room kitchen space where behind me we have the entertainment center. We have a large 40 inch flat screen TV with some blue mood lighting that can be shut off. And then down below that we have a big electric fireplace. These things are awesome. They spit out a lot of heat and they're just pretty too. There's storage all around it and that's going to act as kind of an extension to kitchen storage, just giving us shelving to keep all sorts of things that we may want to have on hand here in the living room itself. Now, the sofa that sits across from that TV will pull out. It's a tri-fold, so this can sleep an additional two guests with ease. And again, that sits right there where we're looking at our TV, which is on a mountain, can swivel out to give you a better viewing angle. When we step into the kitchen, notice that everything here is solid surface countertops. We have sink covers to help extend that. A nice high rise faucet here for washing out those pots and pans. A big insignia microwave up high. And then we've got a three burner stove with a glass cooktop just to help cover that up and allow us again for more prep space and a decent size oven down below it. Now this is equipped with an ever chill 12 volt refrigerator. It has plenty of volume in both the refrigerator and the freezer space. That's going to allow us to store all sorts of goods to stay out on our trip a little longer. Again, storage, storage, storage. They're putting it wherever they can. We've even got cabinets up high, up above it. Some folks are gonna need a little step stool to get to that, but hey, more storage is always good. I love the fact that they've given us windows all the way around the slide room, allowing us to see out into camp. And our table down low here will convert into yet another bed. This is your typical booth dinette that we see in a lot of bunkhouse travel trailers and fifth wheels. The table simply drops down, the cushions slide out over it, and we've got another spot for guests to sleep. Now on the bottom on both sides, we do have more storage in the form of those drawers there. And then behind me, we have a couple of things going on. Again, storage, 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 storage. We have a three set here that they just built into the wall where they had some dead space. I can definitely see using this as a pantry given its vicinity to the kitchen. Now, across from that, we have the half bath. This has its own entry door right off of the patio, which I think is great. Not only does it serve as a secondary exit in case of an emergency, it allows people with dirty feet, like at the beach or something, to step up, use the bathroom without traipsing through the whole camper. In addition to that, having a half bath back here makes it so that people can get ready in the morning. Remember, this is a bunkhouse fifth wheel, so families are intended to use this. So you're gonna have a lot of folks getting up and getting going. Having that extra bathroom is always handy. In the very back of the vehicle, we have our bunk room. This thing is pretty big thanks to the slide. Then they thought this bunk room through in a lot of ways. I mentioned earlier that this is 50 amp service with two air conditioners. One of those is a direct dump right into this bunk room back here. And if you'll notice, we have plenty of storage in here. They built in shelving into the walls as soon as we come through the door. We have overhead cabinetry over one of our bunks here, which is great, easy access. And then even behind me, we have more storage, cabinets up high and down low, and the ability to hook up a flat screen TV so that we can keep the, the kids entertained back here. Now this bunk room is exceptional in a couple of ways. Not only is it spacious, it can sleep up to five people with ease, possibly six if you have two small folks that you could put on the jackknife sofa. The way it works is that we have the two dedicated bunks on the patio side, so one high, one low, again, storage all around those. And then in the slide itself, we have a jackknife sofa, so that'll flatten out to become a bed. 
There's a trundle mattress hidden away underneath it that we can pull out into the floor to sleep one more. And up high, we have a 300 pound capacity bunk bed that simply folds down. Now, another thing that I think is really smart here that I see across many of the Crossroads line is that we have USB ports and power almost everywhere you sit or lay your head. So that means charging up devices, keeping tablets up and running is going to be easy to do. Let's head back towards the front and let's check out the bathroom and the bedroom. As we head up the stairs onto the upper deck of the fifth wheel, the first door we come to is the bathroom. Opening it up reveals a corner glass shower with a skylight up above just to give more room for those tall folks. We have a foot flush toilet with some nice hangers on the wall up above it for towels and robes and whatnot. And then our sink itself has plenty of storage in the form of a cabinetry down low and a medicine cabinet up high. Now there is a storage slide that runs from the bedroom into the bathroom and it has multiple hanging and shelved closet spaces. It's a nice addition and a great way to get more storage into the bathroom and the bedroom. The bedroom is equipped with a king-sized bed. We have some mood lighting up high, traditional storage on either side in the form of closets and shelving up high. Again, as I mentioned earlier, anywhere you may lay your head or sit down, you're gonna find USB ports and power outlets. This is great for keeping things charged up and having them right there by the bed is always handy. There's even storage up under the bed is strut assisted and we can keep a few things hidden away down there. And at the foot of the bed on the wall, we have a spot where we could hook up a flat screen TV in the main bedroom. Again, I mentioned the slide earlier in the bathroom that extends into the bedroom. This is just gonna give you more space to keep all of your clothes. Coming out of the bedroom and back down onto the main floor, right by our entrance here, we have a few controls going on. We have a tankless hot water heater on board, which is gonna give you that instant hot water. It can be controlled from this little panel. And our main panel, which is going to monitor our tanks, let our slides in and out, as well as our awning, is right here. In addition to that, we have the ability to flip on our water pump and our tank heaters all from this location. Now, what I wanna do is run the slides in so that we can see what's accessible for a quick pit stop. And there it is. Okay, so with the slides in, we don't really have access to a whole heck of a lot with ease. However, we could squeeze around this couch and get into our kitchen and our refrigerator. Those are accessible if you're willing to just kind of squeeze around there. We can easily get to the upper deck bathroom and because we have a second door outside, again, we can easily get to the half bath in the back. So as far as quick pit stops go, this is really pretty good. I mean, I can get to the fridge, I can get to my sink, I can grab a quick snack, I can certainly use the bathroom. Heck, we can have a couple of people using the bathroom at the same time. So all in all, I kind of like this one with the slides closed up. Let's open everything back up and head outside and check out some of the features there. Here on the patio side of the 32BH, we've got a few things going on. Notably, both doors have solid step entries. These fold down, they're very stable going in and out of the camper, and they have adjustable legs to make contact with uneven ground. I think that's great. Towards the front of the camper, we have pass-through storage with slam latches, as well as saddlebag style storage for our LP. We have a big awning on this guy. It covers both of our doors. We have some outside speakers up under it that are marine grade, and this is LED lit on this side. So there's one big LED bar that's up under there that's gonna help make things glow of the evening. Beautiful rims on here, and this has a leveling system. It's a four-point electric leveling system. There's two points right here behind the tires and then two points up front. 
it's going to automatically bring the camper up to level in an uneven campground. At the very rear, we have an outside kitchen. This is complete with a stove, a refrigerator, a sink, and we have some plugs in there as well as LED lighting. I think it's a very nice touch to it. Rounding the corner at the rear of the camper, we do have an accessory hitch down low. Great for bike racks or storage racks, things like that. This is prepped for a backup camera. It's a plug and play system that can be installed aftermarket. And we have a ladder heading up to our fully walkable roof. On the off door side, up towards the front of the camper, we have access again to that pass through storage. Insulated baggage doors with slam latches and magnetic catches make it easy to use. And something they've done that I think is really great is given us a bit of a wet bay right here. So we have an outside shower, we've got our water hookups as well as our flushes. So we have our gray tank and black tank pulls right here. And there's even a spot where we can hook up cable or satellite into the vehicle if that's available to you in your park. All of this can be threaded up from the bottom. That way we can lock this all down and keep people from tampering with it. The front cap of the cruiser is fully molded fiberglass. It's beautiful and aerodynamic down low. You'll see that we have a Kurt Rotoflex pin box. This has a rubber escutcheon plate, which is gonna help take some of the chucking out going down the road. And hiding up underneath all of that, we have a hatch that flips up to reveal access to our battery compartment, as well as that pass-through storage and our controls for the level up system. Also under here, that. And one more thing that's of note is that this has a plug for solar on the side. So if you're parked somewhere up under the shade, you can actually plug in a solar panel there, drag it out into the sun, and have that charge up your 12 volt systems. It's all pre-wired and ready to go. The 32BH is a great choice for families on the go. The large bunk room in the back is awesome for sleeping guests or friends of the kids. And the parents' room has its own big screen TV option in there. That way they can have privacy away from everybody late when everybody else is kind of crashed out. I think this is an awesome fifth wheel that's certainly worth checking out for yourself in person at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. You can also check it out online at southernrv.com. You can give us a call with any questions at 770-477-0552. And if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. It really helps out a small channel like ours. And until next time, happy camping.